Hey, Sam back here. Welcome to this bonus page. Now this is for Member Factory. It's a software that the team and I have been working on for the last few months. Membership systems are very popular right now. You've probably seen a lot of them out there. I've always used Wishlist and I've always used um, uh, A-Member as the two membership softwares that I've really used for my platforms throughout all my different uh, websites. Now a few months ago we found that there was a big frustration and a few problems with some of the membership solutions that were out in the marketplace. They were either too expensive out of people's budget or they were too complex and it was, it was difficult to get started with them. So we put together a system that makes it easy to do everything that you could ever want for your membership system. You'll be able to take in money on a reoccurring basis, you'll be able to go ahead and, and basically make money as you want with your different membership levels, you'll be able to drip feed content and choose whatever template you want. It also opens up a number of new opportunities for you. Say for example if you want to upload your own content you can do that. If you've purchased white label content off me or someone else in the past you can now add that content to our membership system and start charging on a recurring basis. We even generate a checkout for you so you can actually go and start selling it right away within the system. Also on top of that uh, there's a couple of new opportunities that have popped up such as doing deals with people from Udemy and actually uploading the content to your membership system and then selling it outside of Udemy. That's a great opportunity right now. I've been seeing a few people do and uh, there's a lot that the system can do. So I'm really excited to show you this. I want to hop onto my computer right now and show you a step-by-step -step demonstration of how this can help your business and I encourage you to join me there right now. And before I go there, check out down below. All of the bonus details are down there as well as opening time and any additional details about this software. Let's go ahead to my computer. This is Membership Factory right here. Now to show you this software in full, I'm going to split this video up into three phases. The first phase, I'm going to show you a demonstration of a membership site we've just created through the software. The second phase, I'll give you a quick tour around Member, fa member Factory and the different parts of Member Factory. Thirdly, what we're going to do is we're going to take a product on Udemy called Product Creation Alchemy from a top seller in Udemy and we're going to grab the content and put it into a membership site and start charging monthly for it. Okay, let's get started. This is Copycat Social. This is a white labeled training program of mine. What I've done is I've taken that white label which I sell to other people to resell and I've loaded it up into the system as a reseller or a white label reseller might do. Here you can already see when you log in you've got a number of different options. We've got the account page which is optional but will show customers once they've purchased from you a billing history profile and it'll give them the ability to log out. There's also a training section which we're in right now which has a video and a download link. You can upload resources, you can host videos, you can add text. Plus we've got a sidebar over here with many more different sections, all right? These modules are split up in different ways. So say for example, we wanted to go to module six, we could then see the video here. One of the other different features about this system that makes it quite useful is you can actually mark this as complete. So once you've actually watched the video, you can keep track or your visitors can keep track, your customers can keep track of the videos they've actually watched. You can also add as many download links as you want, as you can see here, and you can enable comments so people can post. We also have a footer here with privacy policy, disclaimer, terms and conditions and affiliates so not only do you have all the legal information you need but people can actually promote through your affiliate program and we've also got LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube and Twitter available here as well. Let's visit another page within our membership. Now we can either leave this as static we can actually remove all of these modules if we wanted to. In this case, I thought it'd be quite useful to have all of our training information in one place on the sidebar and also our resources available here. We've also got the white label training information here as well and you can see here we've split up these into different categories. You can also have multiple membership levels as you would expect in a training project. So not only can you drip feed content but you can actually have membership levels where people can actually upgrade to get new access or access to new content within your membership membership. If a user was to log in, they would see this starting screen right here. As you can see, this is a really complete solution. It creates high quality, good looking membership sites and it does it in a matter of minutes. Let's go across now to Membership Factory. This is the system itself here. When you log into Membership Factory after purchasing Membership Factory, this is what you're going to get access to. Click the plus button up here in order to create a new website. When you're creating a new website, we have what's called a membership site wizard. This is one of the most useful and time-saving functions inside of Membership Factory. It allows you to get all of the information up and running about your product within a matter of seconds. 
So let's go ahead, let's copy this and let's add it to our site name. This might be our description and our product site name might be Product Creation Alchemy, which has been um, conveniently sponsored by Digi Results, a friend of ours, Digi Results. Now we might add digiresults at gmail.com to our email. Now we can go down here, and, and you'd obviously add your own URL if you wanted to do this, and you can enable your site, you can show all orders, you can enable priorities, and you can show a curriculum. Now all of these are going to become much more relevant as we walk through the system and the different features, functionality it has, but if you want to have a full-blown membership system, I recommend ticking all of these. You've also got a conversion picture, so say for example you're doing Facebook ads or monitoring your ads, you can add your Facebook conversion picture here to monitor how many people are actually purchasing through your link. Now, it's time to connect us up with our payment platform. We can enable this gateway, PayPal, Stripe, JVZoo. We've got three options right now. More are being added in future, but right now PayPal, Stripe and JVZoo will suit really well for what you're trying to do. All you need to do to connect up JVZoo is really easy, you just need to grab your secret key. This is really easy to find, it's in your My Account section of JVZoo, and we've got training inside of the system to find this. Once we've connected our JVZoo secret, we click Save, it's been recorded and added successfully. Now we just need to enable this right here. We also have test mode which is available for Stripe and PayPal, so you can actually make sure that your membership site is working for those two platforms before anyone actually goes and purchases. Now let's create our plans, that's the third section. When you're creating your plans, you can create as many of these as you want. So let's create, first of all, our basic content plan. Now this might be our basic membership, for example, or it could even be our free membership depending on what you're actually offering to people. Let's say that this membership, we're charging $17 and we're billing every 30 days, it's a monthly reoccurring cost. Also, it's not going to be stopped. It's our priority membership, all right? It's the first membership in what we're doing. Our return URL, which would be our redirect URL, all right? This is the login page this would redirect people to if we had a custom login page. We don't for this particular one. And then we've got our frequency. We can also offer a trial. So say, for example, we wanted to offer a seven-day trial. Um, trial price might be $1. We can offer then a seven-day trial or a five-day trial for someone to test out our membership. Once that five-day trial has ended, they'll be charged $17 on a monthly basis. Now in this case, because this is a high-priced course, we might charge a bit more than that. But if you wanted to, you don't need to charge on a monthly basis. We could actually charge $297 like we have inside of the system, and we could actually have it so the billing frequency is unlimited. There is no limit to the billing frequency. And you can see here, um, there is a obviously a large amount of billing frequency, but we can basically have it so it's a one-off charge if we want it to be. All right, so let's go back to what we were doing, 17. Um, we're going to go with a 30 days billing frequency. Click Save once that membership's updated. Now what we do is we check it out. We've added our uh, membership. And now we can add a premium membership. So we could actually add a, another membership to this. And there's an unlimited amount of memberships you can add for your content. There is no restrictions on this whatsoever. Here we are, we can offer $97. There's no trial price. This is an upgrade link. So if someone wants to purchase, they can upgrade for $97 and get access to this. If we wanted to, we could adjust this at a later date. We could also choose if we wanted to, to make sure that we um, charged on a yearly basis if we wanted to as well. And once we're finished, we click Next. Cool, we're done. We've clicked Next and we're ready to finish our installation. Now what the system's going to do is it's going to head and go ahead and basically generate our membership site. This takes between a few seconds and a couple of minutes to do. It's creating our membership site right now and it's building it into a theme that we want to use for our membership factory. Now it's done and this is the membership system which we've built. It's the part of Membership Factory that we're able to access all of the content of this particular membership site. You can have a number of different membership sites, and as you can see here, we've actually got all of our different membership sites listed here, and we have our new membership site that's listed right here. If we wanna get into this membership site to edit it, we go Manage Site, and we're able to edit the dashboard, the content, members, subscription, comments, and a lot of the site's details as well. Now when you first get in here, you'll see a number of different options. We've got a market template or marketplace where you can choose site templates. We've got 
site details, membership plans, payment gateways where you can edit, autoresponders, obviously if you want to add one of our autoresponders you can do that, static pages, site menus, email templates, site designer, checkout designer, power editor, site templates, checkout templates, and domain mapping as well. Now the first step when you get in here, we've gone through the wizard, so it's time to add our content. Now to add the content, first of all we need to add a category. So in terms of the categories, we might put basic as our first category because we've got a basic membership. And we might enable our basic membership for this basic content. Now if we wanted to, we could obviously name this something else, but in this case to make it really easy to keep track of, let's name this our basic membership. Okay, from there, we've got our basic, and if we wanted to now create premium, we can create a premium membership as well. We're going to tick that premium and basic members will, uh, okay, premium members will just get access to premium and we'll just go ahead and edit our other basic, uh, our other basic one as well. Because we're going to have premium members will get access to the basic membership as well. Because obviously they've upgraded, they should get access to both. Okay, so now what we do is we can add our different content. Okay, so we can choose to add a page. Now if we're adding a page, we can add a title, a slug, a summary. We can add in all the different details of published. We can add a different layout. We can add it to a different category. We can choose the author that we want for this as well. And we can choose whether the content is freely available, whether it's uh, available for comments, whether there's a drip feed to it so it gets released at a certain time time, we can enable this for that or not. We can actually add in video content as well, audio content to determine what it's going to look like. So in this case, let's go ahead and add our first piece of content. So first of all, it's going to be the welcome. All right, welcome to Product Alchemy. This is the welcome. All right, so we've got our welcome text here and I'm pasting it from this course to make it really easy to follow. We've got the content published, we're going to use a plain layout, uh, or we'll use a default layout for this, and we'll add it to our basic membership. We'll also add the author, it's going to be me, Sam, who I'm the manager of the account, I can edit my author name if I want to, and we'll put this enabled with comments. Now all we need to do is add a video. Thankfully, I got a number of links earlier on uh, which enable us to add a video. This content can either be grabbed from Vimeo, YouTube, Amazon S3, or a number of different services. Let me grab the video now. I've added my video here, it's from Vimeo, and we can click OK, and now it's added my video. Now if we wanted to enlarge this video, we can obviously play around with the settings, we can uh, make this a bit larger if we wanted to, and we could make this fit, we could click OK, and it's going to enlarge that content as well. We may want, not want to do that though, so I might want to just stick with 453, which is a um, common, uh, you know, size and someone can also enlarge it. Vimeo allows you to have an enlarge feature on your video so you'll be able to use that. So you can say a video, uh, welcome to member factory. And we can go ahead, we can copy this, we can edit this as we want, we can make it bold, and we can add images to this if we wanted to as well. If we wanted to, we could also add um, videos, we could add attachments, we could add a number of additional uh, features to this after clicking save. As you'll see here, attachments, we can add, upload an attachment, we can add an audio file, we can add a video file, and it will actually be listed directly underneath this particular training video. Really easy to do and really quite cool. Once we click save, then what's gonna happen is we can go back to all of our pages or we can preview the page. Now in this case, this is what it looks like here. All right, this is what it looks like uh, inside of our content. It's in the basic content category. We've got premium membership category up here. We can adjust these in order so we can have our basic membership at top. And if we wanted to now preview it, we can go ahead and preview it, what it's going to look like inside of our website. Here we are. This is the um, part that we're editing. Okay, so here's our content, it's been added, the video will play, we've got our, um, our link right here, and we've also got our links down here. Now right now we're just building out a basic membership site. So that's how you add content to your membership site. Now in terms of managing members, you can manage members really easily within our membership system right here. Everyone, once, uh, once you've created a membership site, uh, or membership, uh, you know, you'll, you'll get a link that you can actually give 
which will automatically enable people to be registered, whether they're through JVZoo, PayPal, or another system. Through here, if you want to add members manually, you can do this very easily, entering them into our system, choosing the country, choosing the amount they paid, the fee, the date they begin, and the date it expires. Also, you can choose how you're going to charge them, which membership level they're, they're going to be, whether they get notified, or whether they're a free user. If they're a free user, obviously, a lot of these other uh, options will cancel out. We've also, uh, also got our subscriptions. Now the subscriptions are going to keep a record of who's been paying and when they've been paying. I'll show you a live example very shortly, actually you'll, you'll be seeing a live example on my screen right now of one of these, how it looks when you've got active buyers inside of the system. We've also got our comments moderation. You're gonna find that it's really important to moderate your comments within the system. So through here, we can actually moderate all of the contents that are placed or comments that are placed. Now let's go to our more section. Here is where we can first of all add a really important feature which is our autoresponder. If you want to capture leads as they register in your website and keep up to date with your customers, it's important that you go ahead and do that. Right here, as it is right now, we've got the ability to add HTML from any of your autoresponders. Aweber, GetResponse, MailChimp, add in the HTML into the system and it will load it up automatically and allow you to capture those leads from anyone who decides to go ahead and purchase from you. Now let's go to site management. Now site management in itself is really quite easy to use. The site management section of this gives you the ability to add static pages. So say for example, on CopyCut Social, you can see here this resources page, that's a static page. White label, this is a static page. Okay, the content section is for content that's gonna go on the sidebar, and if you want static pages, you can create static pages within the system as well. These are for pages such as white label, or such as um, you know limited amounts of downloads, where you don't need to build out a massive training program, but maybe you've got a software download, a plugin that you, someone can download, something similar to that, and you can build that out throughout the system. Now we've also got the ability to add site menus. Now site menus work just as you'd see in WordPress. You've got the ability to add categories to your basic membership. You can add this menu, all right? You can name this menu your home tab, for example. Create the menu, and it creates a menu for you which you can add content into. We can add this basic into the um, content inside of our menu, and it's going to I basically have a drop down that will show the menu inside of our menu bar. You can see examples right now of what it looks like when one of these menus is added to the top bar. This menu also helps you to add content to the sidebar as you're seeing right here. And it's easily done within the system. You can also add other links such as uh, support. You could have, say for example, your support team and you could add that to the menu. And there's a number of other features that comes with this as well, but the menu system itself is just like you'd see in WordPress. And you can add particular videos or you can add particular categories to the menu, or as you can see here, you can add um, just a few additional options that will show up on the top of your navigation. Really easy to do, really easy to use. Now we've got the ability to write up email templates. Now these email templates are welcome emails. Whenever anyone registers for your membership site, it's going to give you the ability to send out their membership information, their transaction ID, their details for tax, all of that stuff, customer receipt, right through their email as, uh, as soon as they've purchased. You can customize all of these emails from forgot your password, from comments, from subscriptions, hey, thank you for purchasing again, thank you for renewing your subscription. It's all customizable, and they will be sent this out from the system directly. Also, we've got our site designer. If you want to customize your site, you want to take it to the next level, you want to change the colors, adjust them within the system, you can do that really easily through this system right here. You can also, through the system, upload a logo for your website, making it fully customizable and really easy to use. You can see a preview of how this can look once you've customized it on the left-hand side here, and you'll notice that all of the different membership sites we've installed, created, all have a different theme. You can customize your own theme, make it look really good, or you can stick with our already done theme. We've also got a checkout designer. One of the most important things when someone is going ahead and purchasing is that you have the ability to help them to make the right decision on the checkout. When someone goes ahead and buys through the system, as you're seeing right now, they can actually go through a checkout. 
This is the editing page for the checkout. You can display support selection, display security seal, display guarantee text. It's already done for you. You can even upload a box shot or an image that you've created with an image software of your particular graphic that you wanna show, your face, adding trust, or you can actually add your logo within the system. Very easily just upload it into the system like I'm doing right here. And you'll then be able to showcase what you want to show. Let's just add a face in there right now. Now say for example, I wanted to add some trust, I wanted to show who they were purchasing off, I can add my face onto this and it would actually add my face into the checkout itself. You can add any additional information into the checkout, you can add bullet points, you can customize your checkout as you want within a system and then when you're ready, you can click save and it will be saved into your checkout. Finally, as we go down the list, we've got our power editor. Our power editor will give you the ability to customize any of the pages within the system. We wanted to make our membership software fully flexible. So if you have a developer, you have a designer, or you yourself is someone that enjoys to get into the HTML code, you can customize your site's look and feel as you want within our system. Now let's go on to domain mapping. Uh, we've got our site templates first of all. Site templates can be purchased within our membership uh, marketplace or you can get a range of free templates that are available as soon as you pick up the system. You can see them within our system right here. These are pre-designed and we're adding more templates in as we go with this system. You can expect to see far more templates uh, as you move through uh, using this system and there's many more being added over the next few months. Now we've got our domain mapping. All right, and we've got checkout templates. Let me show you those first. Checkout templates, really easy to use. Again, same thing, templates for checkout. We're adding to them all the time. You've got a number of free to select from right now, and you can get those as soon as you get into the system. Now finally, domain mapping. This is where you actually add your own website to the system. We've made it really easy to do this. All you need to do is add your domain name in here. You need to create a CNAME record with your destination URL. We have training on all of this and you can add in whichever website that you want to have your site hosted on so you won't see Member Factory, you won't see anything to do with our website. All you'll see is your domain so people who purchase from you will know that they've purchased from you and they won't know anything else about the system you're running. So if you want to keep that private, you're able to do that with that system. All right, now that we've covered what's included within the system, let me build the site, the system that you saw in Product Creation Alchemy, all right? The Udemy system right here. I'm going to recreate this right now in Membership Factory and show you how good this can look. All right, here's the system. As you can see, really easy. I can click through these different options. It's fully functional and all of the content is added as it should be. Someone who purchases this Alchemy through our membership system now pays $97 for it one time to get premium access. Do you think they'll be happy? Of course they'll be happy. The website looks great. The content looks great inside of the website. And anyone who purchases through this will know that you're a professional when they purchase through it because it simply looks so good. It wasn't previously possible to do this easily. If you were to do WordPress, you were to combine it with a lot of other systems, it would be very difficult to create what we have here. Then after you've actually got customers coming through the door, you're able to keep track of your sales. See who's coming through, and we cover all of the hosting for you, all of it's taken care of. So you can actually see how much money you're making now and what the forecast is for how much money you're gonna make in the future. This is such an easy software to use. This is going to be the best membership system you've invested in, and I can't wait to have you on board. Thanks for listening. This is Sam Backer. I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.